everyone. Welcome to the first workshop of Taylor Memorial Library's Hein Online Database Spotlight Series for Spring 2021. Today, we are talking about the database COVID-19 Pandemics Past and Present. As described by Hein Online, this database is dedicated to exploring how medical disasters of the past inform the present response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It brings together federal government reports and hearings. Content that is COVID-19 specific is organized into individual areas of focus, including the economic, global, healthcare, and societal impact, with a separate subcollection exclusive to past pandemics. So let's get started. Access the Hein Online database by first visiting Taylor Memorial Library's homepage at libguides.centenaryuniversity.edu. Use the navigation bar at the top of the screen to select Search, then Databases. Once on the database's A to Z page, search for Hein Online or select the letter H on the navigational alphabet and scroll down. Click Hein Online Academic to launch the database. You may be prompted to sign in using your Centenary username and password. There are several features to take note of on the Hein Online database landing page. First, a search bar with options for modifying searches runs along the top of the page. You can also create or log into your My Hein profile which allows you to bookmark documents, manage search history, and keep track of most used databases. Lastly, you can browse Hein Online's 32 databases either by category or by name. Green squares with the white cross next to a database name signals that it is a newly added resource to Hein Online. Clicking on the circle with an I will open a description of the database with title and volume information with the option of downloading the titles in various formats. Clicking the database name will open a table of contents. Clicking the title once again will launch the database. Once here, notice that the table of content items are now running along the top of the screen below the search box. Also take note that the search box has changed from searching all of Hein Online to now searching only the COVID-19 Pandemics Past and Present database. Content in the database is grouped into two areas of focus. One, the current COVID-19 pandemic with four dedicated subcollections focused on the economic, global, healthcare, and societal impact of COVID-19. And second, a subcollection dedicated to past pandemics containing content on HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, flu outbreaks, and biological disasters from history. The four COVID-19 subcollections are primarily comprised of reports from the Congressional Research Service, a public policy research institute of the U.S. Congress, and the Government Accountability Office, a legislative branch agency. The CRS helps Congress form sound policies based on analysis and research, and the GAO provides auditing, evaluation, and investigative services for the U.S. Congress. Their reports provide insight into how the federal government is reacting to the pandemic. Content within the past pandemic subcollection adds a layer of understanding to the federal government's response to the current pandemic by allowing users to examine its responses to past disasters. All of these subcollections can be navigated using the A to Z index from the All Titles tab. You can browse by title, author, date, or subject, view all titles at once, or select a letter of the alphabet. You can also access each individual subcollection via the appropriate tab and browse similarly. 
Expert Hein Online editors have also curated a list of scholarly articles related to the COVID-19 pandemic from across all of Hein Online, not just the COVID-19 pandemic's past and present database. By default, these articles are listed by most cited, but you can change the view to sort by title, author, year, newest first or oldest first, and you can perform a search within to find a specific article. The Additional Resources tab launches a guide authored by Hein Online specialists containing the information just discussed and more. Now, let's get into some search examples. The main search bar remains stationary throughout the entire Hein Online database. Remember that once inside the COVID-19 database, the full text search tab option on the search bar will search within this database only. For example, if we enter the phrase social distancing inside quotation marks into the search bar and click the magnifying glass, we will get 271 results. Notice that our search phrase appears in bold text within the matching text snippets of each document. We can use the limiting options on the left side of the page to narrow our results by date, by section type, by document type, which are the database subcollections, or by title. We can also sort our results by relevance, volume date, or document title. So let's refine by changing the date to 2016 to date and selecting societal impact under document type. Our results are automatically updated to a list of 85 items. Scrolling the page reveals documents related to law, education, media and communications, and more. Let's look more closely at item number six, Law in the Time of COVID-19. Clicking on the title launches the item with various options for viewing, reading, and saving. In addition to other actions, you can read directly from the screen using the navigation arrows, access the permalink to the page and citation to the document, and search for additional keywords within the body of the text, such as contact tracing. We can exit this search and return to the database introduction page using the breadcrumb navigation bar beneath the main search bar to explore, in my humble librarian opinion, a more interesting way to search. The Venn diagram search located on the advanced search page. The Venn diagram search offers a visual representation of how search terms interact with each other, ultimately helping other users both define their current search terms and become better researchers going forward. Searches are constructed by stringing together multiple terms separated by the connecting word or Boolean operator, and, with phrases grouped together in quotation marks. For example, we will enter the search string synchronous education and zoom and click the magnifying glass. This search produces a list of three results on the right with the Venn diagram on the left, showing the relationship between the phrase and the word. Clicking clear will allow the user to experience the search in a different way. By hovering over individual sections of the diagram, it will reveal different results. For example, hovering over Zoom shows that there are 27 results for Zoom, and if we hover over synchronous education, it shows that there are three results for the phrase synchronous education. 
This tells us that while there are articles that contain the word Zoom, but not the phrase synchronous education, there are not any articles that contain the phrase synchronous education without the word Zoom. This is valuable information for a user because it helps inform future searches. As with items in our previous search example, there are options for viewing, reading, saving, and citing documents. Thank you so much for attending this Hein Online Database Spotlight Series workshop for the database COVID-19 Pandemics Past and Present. Please don't hesitate to reach out to a TML librarian with any questions or concerns.